the gentle hum of electric vehicles could soon overtake the rumble of internal combustion engines in California. Clean air regulators say all new cars sold in the state will be electric or zero emissions by 2035. But California's relationship with the power grid is fraught with uncertainty, a fact highlighted by a late summer heat wave. Between now and next Wednesday, we're going to be experiencing a prolonged heat uh, moment. Governor Gavin Newsom's calls for conservation were answered and the threat of rolling blackouts was averted. But Newsom was roasted on social media after power grid officials asked residents not to charge their EVs during the evening. That came just a week after the state announced the 2035 ban on the sale of new cars with internal combustion engines. Still, California remains committed to shrinking its carbon footprint as a way to avoid more intense wildfires and drought, hallmarks of climate change. That we need to eliminate emissions from the California economy. David Victor is an energy policy researcher at UC San Diego. Biggest source of emissions right now in California, 41% of emissions come from transportation. So you got to tackle that. And the leading solution, not the only solution, but the leading solution is electrifying, especially electrifying cars. Victor says no one wants the electric grid to become less reliable. And he says there's time for the state to absorb the coming demand. He says EVs are arriving in the midst of an energy transition. Solar and wind are rising in prominence, but that also calls for more energy storage capacity. And the grid will have to be built up to account for the extra draw from EVs. Pretty much every study shows there's going to be a significant increase in the demand for electricity in California as a result of this. I think many of the studies suggest that light-duty vehicles alone, so cars, uh, that they are going to be responsible for maybe a one-quarter increase in the demand for electricity between now and 2045. And while millions of new EVs will be feeding off the electric grid in coming years, the change isn't immediate. San Diego Gas and Electric representatives say they can handle the demand for more power as more EVs hit the road. The short answer to that is is yes. Jenny Reynolds is San Diego Gas and Electric's Director of Clean Transportation. The long answer is much more complicated. And so when you start getting into the specifics of when that load's going to hit, how it's going to hit, what new technology and what type of battery storage we have to help, you know, that's a much more complex answer. Reynolds says the utility can build the required power lines and transformers. That's what utilities do. But the company also needs to build understanding among its EV customers. Right now, energy usage peaks between 4 and 9 p.m. The utility wants EV charging to happen during the day or overnight. If we can get a lot of that charging in those times, then the build-out isn't going to be as much. So we have capacity that's there. It's about how do we incentivize customers to use that capacity. Then it's also the new technology like vehicle to grid and how we as consumers are going to be able to own our energy transition. Vehicle to grid is an emerging technology being tested in the Cajon Valley School District. Electric buses can feed power in their batteries back to the grid for a premium price when electricity is in short supply. EVs, in essence, could become a huge reservoir of stored energy. But UC San Diego's Jan Kleisel says that tech isn't quite ready yet. So the the devil really is in the details of uh, the inverter technology not becoming too expensive to then make it not not worth the customer's while. And the battery um, manufacturer, meaning in this case the vehicle manufacturer, agreeing that, that this is something that they could cover under warranty. Kleisel says developing ways to manage the power demand from millions of household devices and EVs will keep the grid reliable. Computing systems uh, can help us to manage things better in time, like scheduling, Um, but still, um, you don't make the load go away, you just shift it. Shifting the load, shifting people's habits, and shifting the power supply to renewables while adding capacity to the grid are keys to making sure the flood of EVs don't swamp a power grid that's already feeling its limitations. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.